In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to give you a beginner look at using titles in your video projects. This is for people who are brand new to video editing or new to PowerDirector. So we're just going to give you the first basic lesson on titles in this tutorial. I have a video that's just crying for a title. It's a great shot with some great music. And if I were to use it as an intro, I'd probably put some titles here. How do we do that? Let me show you. The easiest way to get started with titles is to click on the T icon on the left side in the icon panel or press the F7 key on your keyboard. Either way, it will get you to your title room. Now, my title room has lots of titles. If I click on the down arrow, I have many, many subcategories of titles. And if we click on the little blue arrow on the left, we'll see those subcategories along with the file count in each of them. I have 323 titles to pick from, and I don't have all of those that are currently available to me as a user of PowerDirector 365. Now, you may have more than me or a little bit less, but you probably have lots of them. And so what I encourage new users to do is focus on the basics before we get lost in the hundreds of possibilities for titles. So what I like to do is I like to go from all content. I'm going to click on the down arrow and we'll use the subcategory that's simply text only. That's a great way to get started. And so I'm going to take what's called the default my title and drag it down. Now a title can sit on any video track and if it's on a higher numbered or lower track in the normal stacking order in PowerDirector it will go on top of what's beneath it. So I'm going to take this and I have my video on track 1, I have my audio on track 2, I could put it on track 2 but I'll just drop it on track number 3. And I have a default setting on how long my title is. I can change that by highlighting it, clicking on the clock above the timeline and changing the duration of the title. Or I can use my mouse and stretch it out and make it stay on the screen for longer that way. So you have several options. But let's get back into the title itself. I'm going to double click on it or I can press the F2 key and that will open what's called my title designer. Once again, if you're a new user, the title designer can be overwhelming because you have all these features you can adjust on the title on the left side, plus three tabs, plus information at the top. And if you have this bottom section open, you see the little blue arrow on the lower right. If I click on that, it will open up my keyframe area and I have even more controls down there. Well, we're going to start out simply. Let's look at a couple basic things. First of all, it starts out by saying my title and it's in the center of the screen. How do you control that? Well, you can control the position two ways. One way is to click on the little icon align objects when the title is highlighted and you can align it left, you can go right, you can go horizontal center, top or bottom or vertical center, any way you like in CyberLink PowerDirector. You also notice that when we align it, it's aligned by these little dots. Now this is called your safe zone. And you may have seen commercials on TV where some of the titles were not fully on the screen. They were actually out of the safe zone. It's good practice to always make sure they're within these dotted lines. And if your dot, dotted lines are not showing, you can turn on your safe zone by clicking on the icon to the right. Then you have one that says TV safe zone. And if it's not checked, you click on it and it will turn on these dots. Now we're not going to work on this panel, so I'm going to close it and give us more room to see what we're doing. So another way in which you can control the position of your title is to take the mouse and hover over any of the four sides and you can drag it. Now in newer versions of PowerDirector you have the pink lines that will tell you if it's horizontally or vertically aligned and there I just did it manually. So you want to control where my title is on the screen. I don't necessarily always want it in the center. I might want mine up here 
or in a little bit. You can put it anywhere you want as you superimpose it on the screen. Of course, the other thing we want to change is the content of the box. We don't want to say My Title. There are two ways to change that. One is to go in the upper left corner by the T, and you notice that's where it says My Title. And I can type in something different there. I can type in Water Fun, press Enter, and type in even a second line. So you can have multiple lines on titles, and we'll show you how you can uh, change the spacing between the lines and stuff like that. We'll go back simply to uh, one line on our title. And the other way in which you can change the text in the title, if you don't want to type it in up here, is simply take the mouse and drag across the existing letters. And I can type in Canyon Excursion. A couple other things we'll cover in this initial lesson is how do you change the font and how do you change the font size. There are all kinds of controls over here under Font Paragraph. And if you don't see it, all you need to do is click on the right arrow and it will give you the Font Paragraph controls. We'll have a detailed lesson on all that you can do with it, and there's quite a bit, but we're just going to cover two things here. The size of the letters and the font family of the letters. Let's look at the family first of all. If I want to change all of the letters at once, I can drag across them with the mouse, or I can simply click on the edge and I'll see this change in the box. So now if I want a different kind of font, I can click on my down arrow and it will give me all the fonts available in my current copy of Microsoft Windows because that's where these fonts come from. If you add fonts to Windows, you get more fonts in PowerDirector. If you delete some, you'll have less available. If I click on here, there's a different font there and you watch it change dynamically as I hover over the different fonts that I have in my copy of Microsoft Windows. So let's take a, a different, and you have a slider if you have lots of fonts like I do. Let's do this one. Now it's way too big, so we need to change size. There's two ways to change size. One way is to go into the T on the left side and I can pick a drop-down of any of the sizes available here. But I want you to know that you're not limited to those. Right now I can pick a 26, 28, or 36. What if I want a 30? All I need to do is hover over the number and type in the number I prefer, like 30, press Enter, and now I, I've designed a 30-point font for my characters. The other thing that you can also do to change the size is you can just hover over any of the four corners by dragging on the corners making it larger or smaller. Now when you do that it will not change the number over here. You can also turn off another setting or you can stretch it taller or make it wider. We're not going to cover that in this particular lesson. But we hope this is a good start for you as a beginner user of CyberLink PowerDirector.